What's going on guys and welcome back to The Rift. My name is Terrence and today is a glorious, glorious day because EA Sports has finally dropped the UFC 4 beta. We've been waiting a bit on this and we can finally get our hands on it. Now I say we and I say get our hands on it, but the only way to do so is if you signed up for the beta about a month ago. If you didn't sign up for that, it's very difficult to get your hands on it and the only methods would be either somebody giving you um, an extra code or a code they don't plan on using or somehow if you're able to get EA um, to send you one after thought which from what I've heard from a lot of other people is a lot easier said than done this is not a review video this is not a you should buy this game or you shouldn't buy this game it's not even out yet but still I just want to say this is not meant to be a full consensus video on UFC 4 this is just my initial thoughts on having played the beta for about eh, three plus ish hours um, I, I kind of came home during my lunch break to play the game a little bit then went back to work then I got back home and I've been playing it for about two hours online and against AI opponents I've played with everybody I've played with every style of fighting I could think about and I think I I think I can give my initial thoughts now I feel pretty confident in that now one disclaimer I do want to give for you guys listening to the video right now you probably hear a hum in the background and you probably have in a few of my other videos as well it is 102 degrees in Texas right now um, I'm not turning off my AC for the video I'm sorry try to ignore it it's either that or me sweat to death on camera and you'd never see the video I'd just be dead here so the AC is staying on get used to the hum I'm sorry all right, let's get into it. So I've made a list. Um, you'll see me look down at it a couple times on my computer here. I've made a list of pros, cons, and a category I call give and take. Give and take is basically uh, everything I find in the middle of pros and cons. So things that I like, but maybe aren't necessarily a good thing or things that I'm not really fond of, but I'm happy they're there. I'll go over those in a second. You'll be able to understand that a little bit better. Let's start with the pros because there probably are more pros than cons or give or takes. So let's start it off. Number one on my list is faster pacing. The game feels a lot faster now. Um, I felt like in the first EA Sports UFC game, the pace was far faster than it was in EA Sports UFC 2 and 3. I felt like they had slowed it down. I didn't know if they were trying to be more realistic. I know it depended on which fighter you were fighting with. Like a flyweight is obviously going to be more faster. And I wondered if maybe that was a part of the reason the speed was changed was because lighter weight divisions needed to be balanced so that they appeared faster than light heavyweights per se but there are some fast guys at every weight class and so i felt like the speed of the game should reflect that and it had not this time around at least in the beta so far i feel like that speed is there and it's at 170 pounds even damian damian maya feels far slower right than conor mcgregor but he's still moving at a good speed it didn't feel like even i untrained in kickboxing could catch somebody's kick and molly whop them the way it did in previous iterations so i am loving the pacing um impact uh uh sorry input lag fears to be far lesser this time around which of course is incredible um the last thing you want in your sports games which every sports game i've ever played minus racing games have had input lag you don't want to see that too often and it does not feel like it exists here so i love that they've simplified the grappling grappling excuse me controls and it's actually kind of fun now i'll be honest that was one of the first things i wrote down earlier in my play and the more i played the more i realized that belonged more in the give and take category than it did in the pros category um it's hit or miss uh, i tried to avoid using the controls from previously or the advanced controls this time around and stick with the simplified because they are the new controls and they're the ones a lot of you guys are going to be starting out with so i tried to stick with those um it's fairly simple but oftentimes you end up trying to hit get up but you go down and you're trying to hit a different stick like the right stick or something and hold down triggers as you previously would have done to stuff takedowns and in the end you end up hitting the wrong button and going for ground and pound when you're trying to stand up and every now and then the meter moves and you can't tell if it's your opponent trying to get up or you trying to get up it, it, i think it's one of those things that just has a learning curve to it we're going to have to get used to these simplified controls or just switch to the more advanced option of grappling controls right now it's hit or miss for me i liked it at first and then the more i played the more it was kind of like ah eh, there's some confusion here it's going to take some getting used to but i'm happy they're doing something about improving grappling or at least varying it so i can't necessarily call that a con 
um the clinch game um i think a lot of people are going to be saying positive things about the clinch game um i personally feel like it's a little sticky right now and it's got a lot of room for improvement before launch steel uh but overall i do think it's a lot of fun um namely circling off the cage when you're in a clinch situation for instance if you're trying to get up to your feet because you're on the ground you get up a couple of the get up animations require you like leaning against the cage and stuff your opponent's holding you they can throw knees and stuff and you're like do I hold the block button do I need to move the like left stick in this direction or that direction to circle off the cage and I find that it changes based on the different positions but it's a little confusing and there was no tip menu to explain that to me yet unless I missed it or skipped it on accident which I don't think so I've tried to read all the tips menu to try to understand the new things being implemented in this game I didn't see anything that broke down the clinch I know this is the pros and I'm complaining a lot but trust me if I'm mentioning it mentioning it right now I like where it's at I just think it has room for improvement this whole video is about constructive criticism because that's what you do as a beta tester so all right let's move on clinch game is nice but it could uh be improved on steel knockdowns and big hits feel super powerful um i'm gonna have to come back to this in the cons because it's not perfect but in all mma games so far for the most part when big hits occur they feel like big hits i feel like they toned it down a bit here um but they still feel big i think i'm gonna have to go in and try it without the animation though um and i'll get to that in a second here when we get into cons um, head movement on the ground that was initially in my positives I'm gonna move that to my negatives because I cannot figure out how to move my head once I've been knocked down again I'm still early in the playthrough I'm sure I'll learn how to do that soon as the computer does it and it looks pretty fluid and nice as they move around and dodge your punches when I fought online a couple guys dodge my very first punch and would take the back so um, it looks smooth and fluid I just need to figure out how to do it right now it seems really confusing no matter what button combination I push uh, whether online or against AI offline I struggle with it all right simplified striking mechanics um striking is always simple in combat sports games for the most part unless you consider EA MMA and their joystick um, striking complex but I thought even that was simple um, it's still simple here right um now your body modifiers are still the same you know hold down right trigger to block to high uh hold down both triggers to block low um body modifiers etc striking hasn't changed if you could strike before you can strike now it's still very simple the difference is the game feels far faster now um i think they toned down graphics uh in order to improve things like input lag and the pacing of the game that's in my give and take category um I like it. I'm okay with the graphics being toned down if it improves the feel of the game. Um, arena selection, I noticed. I don't think you can change it. I think T-Mobile is the only stadium available, but it looks like we can change arenas. That's always nice to see. Wonder if they'll have Fight Island, Yaz Island on there. We'll have to see on that too. On to the cons category. All right, stamina disadvantages make submissions one-sided and impossible to escape. I'm just gonna be straight up honest. When I read the Polygon article and heard submission was gonna be simpler, similar to the Undisputed system with the Octagon and you gotta overlap the lines, I was excited. I thought it was gonna be great. Now that I've gotten to use it, it's it's it needs balancing. Like, get rid of the whole when one dude's stamina is low, it like expands the bar and the other person barely has to even move. There were moments online where I got taken down and put in a submission and my bar would change sizes and get bigger and the guy I was playing against, I lost one round, I kid you not, the guy didn't even move his joystick. I was the only one trying to balance it and get it out of his and I got strangled without the dude even moving his stick. That's how big the bar was. Submissions right now are extremely unbalanced. It's the only thing I truly hate about the game right now. Um, EA, please fix that get rid of the extending bar and just have it be a chase figure something out but right now it's it's broken i haven't even read any other comments on it maybe i'm doing it wrong but i'm 100 percent confident that system is broken right now um the new red screen effect when you're hurt rocked stunned wobbled whatever i'm gonna turn that off that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> There's no feedback to give on that. It's just terrible. The the veiny look. I've been rocked before in my life in kickboxing classes. Um, I've been choked uh, almost unconscious. Jiu-Jitsu is my favorite part of the game. No one sees red like that unless they have blood in their eyes. And no, 
get get rid of that that's it's terrible that overlay is horrible <laughs> there's no constructive feedback there just get rid of that the star based rating system um where it's like out of five stars or something no sports sim should ever use the star system unless you're talking about like rarity or special moves when you're talking about overall characteristics it needs to be done on a scale of 100 with an overall balance and each you, you guys got this right in all the previous versions i know it's probably too late to change that system now uh, maybe i overlooked it and it does exist here but from what i could see it looks like you guys are rating people out of stars stop doing that that's 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 a bad way to rate fighters in a sports-based game um okay so let's get into the give and take now so uh heavy focus on creative fighter I can already see that's going to have a huge impact on things. Don't really get much of that in the beta. Those options are closed off for career mode and creative fighter. So we'll have to wait to see that in the future. Um, like I said earlier, graphics look scaled back, but because of that performance is incredible. I haven't tested it yet to see if it's running at 60, but I have recorded some gameplay at 30. Um, regardless, it feels very fluid, very smooth. I have no issue with graphics being scaled back if that's what they were scaled back to do was increase or improve performance um commentating does not feel that much better yet but i'm sure it will um right now there's some weirdness to it like <laughs> there were a few comedic moments that i wish i had written down uh between cormier and anik um but i'm sure as we play more of it uh it will improve and get better it's just right now it it, it still feels a little not seamless um but i mean it's a video game commentating is never going to be perfect so i don't really fault them for that i could easily turn off that stuff and play the game with my own music in the background no issues there um, and then the last thing, like I said earlier, the simplified ground control system, it may be too simple. I think most people are gonna end up switching off of that. Um, and so I do like that they've given you the option between the two. Um, that's everything I have right now for my initial thoughts. I'm sure as I play more tonight, I'll gain more thoughts. For you guys wondering why I'm not showing anything but screenshots, it's because I did send a message to um, Brian Hayes, who works on the team for EA Sports UFC, specifically UFC 4. He's worked on all of them. Um, and I asked him on Reddit, like, hey, can we share videos? Can we stream? And it looks like right now, because this is a closed beta and everyone that signed up for the beta did sign an NDA, whether you read it or not, um, you cannot put out video footage right now. So a lot of people are going to be getting copyright claims over the next probably few weeks on the beta until we get official permission to release those videos. Of course, some people will be able to get away with it i personally don't want to risk getting a claim or a strike on my channel because i enjoy making these videos and i'm having a really good time right now and i'd like to be able to release videos when it comes out without having my channel gone for trying to release beta footage if you guys want to see more videos be sure to hit that subscribe button down below uh if you like the video hit the like and let me know in the comments down below what you did or didn't like about the beta if you haven't gotten the play to beta be sure to ask questions i'm happy to answer them and go try things out for you uh if you have an xbox that's what i'm playing on i'm down to play with you guys you'll probably beat the brakes off me but i'm down to play um hey guys my name is terrence this has been fun i'm gonna go play some ufc4 i'll see you guys in the next video peace